Hey everyone, today we are going to talk about a plague which can destroy your planted tank within a month. As you can see, most of my planted tanks are pretty dominated by different type of aquatic fern. I love aquatic ferns and I use them heavily in all my aquascapes. Four years back in 2018, I used to have a 40 gallon breeder planted tank which was completely filled with different type of java fern, trident fern and also narrow leaf fern. That planted tank of mine was really doing fine. But one fine day, I decided to purchase few more java fern and I added them to my planted tank without any kind of quarantine. Little that I knew, that was the beginning of my worst nightmare. Within a week of introducing those newly purchased fern in that planted aquarium, I saw small small green bumps all over that newly purchased fern leaves. Now, if you are a beginner in planted tank hobby, you may not know that ferns normally propagate via leaves. So small small plantlet will actually appear on ferns leaf. So I was pretty excited. I thought that this particular fern is going to multiply and I'm going to get many more plantlets. But after some time, I noticed there was no plantlets coming out of that leaf, but that green small bumps or it is kind of a gals, it is covered all over the fern. And not only that particular fern, all my ferns were having those kind of little small bumps. And it kind of covered not only the plant leaves, but it was covering the plant rhizome as well. Now here I was a bit worried because ferns normally propagate via leaves. They will never ever have any kind of propagation from rhizome. So after a week, my entire planted tank was kind of, you know, was showing that infection. So all my ferns were showing those bumps all over them. Now. At this point, I really got worried. I started to Google, I started to visit various planted tank forums and I started to see whether anyone has experienced the same or not. With my surprise, what I found, many aquarists have faced this kind of issue. What it is, no one actually knows. It's a kind of a disease which occurs only in ferns and once you have that disease you have nowhere to go you have to discard that entire echo entire planted tank so for me my planted tank was completely dominated by fern right i only had fern just like this particular planted tank it's mostly dominated by fern so i had to throw away almost all the plants that I had in that planted tank and that was a kind of a feeling you know I never want to experience I dig down further I searched various forums I asked various hobbyists but it seems no one knows much about this particular disease it can be bacterial it can be viral it can be fungi but no one actually knows. There are a couple of things that so far we know based on our own experience. Number one, this is a kind of an infection which doesn't occur in your tank. You have to bought it from outside. So when I purchased those new ferns, those ferns were actually infected and without quarantine, I put them in my aquarium and that was the beginning of my nightmare. The second thing is this particular disease is specific to fern. So if you have various types of plants, it will only impact fern. So far, that's what we have seen. So 
for a fawn lover like me, it's a nightmare. But for other hobbyists, they just have to get rid of that particular fawn and I believe that person will be fine. The astonishing thing about this particular disease is you will hardly see anyone talking about it. I have known various aquarists who have faced this issue in USA, in Canada, in India, they have seen this particular disease. But in if you go and if you search various online forums, there is hardly any mention of this disease. That's the reason I wanted to make this video I, I, and I specifically wanted to make you aware. I do understand like, you know, if you are purchasing a new plant, like, you know, quarantining it for 15 days, it's not something that we do. But for me, as I faced that scenario and I knew what happened to my phones, so from that point onwards, whenever I'm purchasing new plants, I simply put that phone in a particular bucket and I keep that plant two weeks and I noticed if I'm getting any kind of, you know, green bumps or any kind of gas on that particular plant or not. I suggest you to practice the same. It's really, you know, not worth purchasing a phone and putting it in an aquarium and completely destroying it. So I hope you like this particular video and if you really like please do share like and subscribe i'll see you in next video till then take care goodbye